RDD versus data frame versus data set. When talking about the difference between RDD, data frame, and data set, almost all three of them provide most of the features. For example, RDD, data frame, and data set supports processing structured and unstructured data. All three support file formats like text file, CSV file, GSON, and Parquet file formats. All the three abstractions support accessing data from data sources. Again, all the three are immutable collections. Finally, the operations are lazily evaluated in all the three collections. Then what really is the difference between the three Spark abstractions? In this video, I'm going to tell you seven concrete differences between these three abstractions. Let's start with the first one. 1. The RDD and data frame is a distributed collection of elements. However, in data frame, the data is organized into named columns. It is conceptually equivalent to a table in RDBMS. Data set is an extension of data frame. 2. The RDD is a low-level abstraction that was introduced in Apache Spark 1.0 release itself, whereas the data frame was introduced in 1.3 release, and data set abstraction was released in the 1.6 release. Three, data frame doesn't provide compile time type safety. For example, if you try to access a column from data frame, which is not available, that it doesn't throw error during compile time. It throws the error only when you try to execute the code. However, this is not the case with the data set. Data set throws the error as you type the wrong column name. This saves developer time and cost. Number four, APIs like ag, select, sum, average, are introduced in data frame and data sets. These operations make the code much more readable than the algebraic type operations in RDD. For example, look at the below word count program. Let's say RDD is a RDD that contains text for word count. DF is the data frame that contains the text for word count. All it does is calculate the number of times each word occurs. We can see that the operations on data frame are much more readable than the RDD counterpart operations. The goal here is not to show how to write word count program, but to show how readable the operations are when working in data frames compared to RDDs. Five. Data frames and data sets API are built on top of Spark SQL Engine, and we can write SQL queries to access the elements, whereas Spark SQL cannot be used on RDDs. 6. Catalyst Optimizer is introduced in data frames, which optimizes the performance by regenerating most optimized physical and logical query execution plan. This results in more efficiency and speed. Datasets also leverages this functionality. However, RDDs doesn't have the benefit of Catalyst Optimizer. 7. RDDs doesn't use Tungsten Component. Whereas Dataset and Data Frames uses Tungsten Component, part of Spark SQL Engine, that enables storing the data in off-heap memory in binary format. This provides three main advantages. A, avoids garbage collection by storing the data in off-heap memory. B, occupies less memory space. And C, avoids expensive Java serialization by storing the data in binary format. Eight, data set provides advanced encoders, which can provide on-demand access to individual attributes. Data frame doesn't have this feature. 
In the next video, let's look at how to join two data sets. For more videos, visit our website, bigdataelearning.com slash courses.